everybody welcome back to my channel so let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know be sure to like comment and subscribe and click that notification bell so when i upload readings you guys will be notified all right so the first card that we have here is timing that card fell right on the floor give me one second sorry guys i kicked the camera all right so we have timing and sudden shift. Bad timing, wait for the right time, patience is needed in this situation. And then we have your current reality is shifting towards something very different from what you had anticipated. It will be for your highest good. So let's see where this is going. What messages do you have for the collectors? What do they need to know? Some of you are like, you I don't know if you don't want to stop fighting with this person or um you feel like because you guys can't agree on what's happening here because we have clash of opinions I feel like you're standing your ground with something here spirit what messages do you have for the collectors what do they need to know So you do feel like you have unfinished business unfinished business with someone. I couldn't even get that out. Um all right. You feel like somebody is playing mind games with you. It's having to do with a third party. This card just came right out here. So we have mind games being immature, testing you, trying to see if you're going to allow them to continue to get away with this. So maybe you're not talking to this person right now, but I do see because of the unfinished business card here that the both of you feel like this isn't over, even if you're not talking to each other right now. I see you guys coming back together or working this out. So both of you may be standing your ground or maybe this person doesn't know when is the right time to try to make up with you because this is the first card that came out. So maybe they feel like they need to give you some time. Somebody feels like you're angry and you're upset and so maybe now is not the time for them to try to talk to you because it wouldn't go well did you have your back turned to this person so maybe they did try to explain and you don't want to hear it because this person is still lying about something let's see what messages do you have for the collectors separation i had to walk away to find what i deserve yes yeah, some of you are telling this person that it's over that you don't want to be with them anymore because you can't trust them. I'm picking up um, huge trust energy. All right, give me one second. This card just fell on the floor. This card slid across the table and fell on the floor. We have guilt, apology, remorseful, ashamed. So this person could be ashamed or guilty because maybe, you know what I'm picking up here? They could be feeling guilty because they're like, it's always me. I'm, It's always me or something I'm doing to this person. Like, you're always fussing at this person. We have jealousy. Afraid to lose you. Want you all to themselves. Can't see life without you in unexpected events. Expect the unexpected. Something you don't see coming is soon to change. A door that was closed between you and this person will now open. And then we have bad choices. This could be someone who's married. So either you're married to this person or they're married to someone else. This person's always making bad choices. And now they feel guilty about it. Because they may be looking at it like every time you guys get into an argument, it's always because of something that they've done or something that they said messages do you have for the collective all still holding on to each other okay oh these cards slipped upside down i don't read these in reverse wow all right <laughs> um someone feels like they're gonna have to kiss your ass to get you to talk to them again we have missing you worried i'm worried that it might be too late to make things right between us and then we have conflict resolution yeah i see somebody coming towards you trying to compromise with you wanting a positive outcome but this person feels like you're going to reject them or turn them down what messages do you have for the collectors what do they need to know the perfect match 
So this could be a twin flame or a soulmate. We have unbothered, compromised, seeking online hookups and can't move on. This may be somebody who tried to move on from you and couldn't. I can't move on no matter how hard I try. And then we have apology. I'm sorry, it's my fault. What can I do to make it right? So you may get an apology from this person or you already received an apology from them. I feel like this person, it could like you guys argument could have been about this. Maybe you found something online or you know this person is talking to other people and you don't have proof of it. But maybe you see this person online, right? And their light is on and they see you online at the same time and your light is on. But you're like, okay, so why aren't you talking to me? Why aren't you saying anything? Why aren't you sending me any type of DM or anything? Like, why are we both online? Both of our lights are on and this person is not communicating with you. So that's like a red flag there that they're online talking to somebody. And then you see their light go off. And you're like, wait, I was online all that time. <laughs> I was online all that time. And this person saw me online and they didn't say anything. They didn't see me a message. They did nothing. So maybe some, maybe now you're like, okay, well, I'm going to act unbothered too. So if this person's acting like they don't want to be bothered, then I'm going to do the same thing. So this is somebody's story out here. But we have compromise. Let's find a way to compromise instead of giving up on us. So I like this person is going to come in with some... Bull, bullshit ass story <laughs> like oh i wasn't online my light was just on you'd be like mm -mm, i don't even think so so we have cold shoulder distance breakup separation this person may feel like you're giving them the cold shoulder but we do have love is being restored and thinking of you see you're tired of settling so maybe you're like i'm not gonna keep putting up with the dumb stuff i feel like sometimes it's just dumb stuff that this person does like what i just mentioned or not showing up for two or three days, not texting, not calling, nothing. And then coming back in as if nothing has happened. So I don't, for some of you, this person didn't do anything recently. It could be just something like that where you're just like, okay, I'm fed up. I'm tired. And then for some of you, this person actually did something. And they're needing to make up with you and say sorry, but they don't know if you're ready to talk to them. Let's get one more and then we'll get some tarot. Give me one more. Angry. I know I said one more, right? I always say one more. And then I flip the deck over. Somebody could be telling someone else about what you guys are going through because we have venting about you and we have mixed feelings. So maybe somebody is telling this person that they're wrong and that they shouldn't be acting the way they're acting or treating you the way they're treating you because we have overthinking. I'm driving myself crazy. Thoughts of you keep consuming me. This person can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop talking about you, but they may be telling somebody that they don't care or that they're mad at you. But if they didn't care, then why would they be bringing your name up? Why would they be constantly talking about you and or the situation we have indecisive conflicting feelings unsure of the relationship so this person is unsure where things are going between the two of you and you could be holding back on this person because you're tired of them not sacrificing there's a sacrifice that needs to be made and they're not sure if they're ready to do it but the universe is saying prepare for what's to come prepare for some sort of change here all right i want to get one more breaking point and boundaries yeah this person can't take that you're setting boundaries so maybe you're not reaching out you're not saying anything you're not doing anything you're acting like i'm fine i'm good with or without you some of you are just showing this person like if i don't talk to you good fine if i do talk to you fine <laughs> it's like it is what it, i'm hearing it is what it is i'm not going to keep playing these games you're not going to keep manipulating me when you pull away from me and say nothing and then you expect for me to reach out to you and ask you what's wrong somebody is sort of maybe waiting for you to reach out to them for some unknown reason here but they're reaching their breaking point because they can't stop thinking about this situation and i feel like the more they think about it the more they think about you they get angry 
because you're not doing what they expect for you to do. Some of you switched up on this person. You're not the same person that you used to be in this relationship. And it's sort of like changing a little at a time. Like every time this person does something to piss you off. You, you sort of like start understanding how you need to react. And it's not the way you used to react. Like this person may be used to you blowing up on them, arguing with them, texting them, calling them. And I just feel like you're not doing that. You're setting boundaries. You're like, stay away then. If you don't want to be bothered, if you're going to take two or three days off without calling me, letting me know what's going on with you, then don't call me. All right. Let's get some tarot. So I'm hearing if you're going to act stupid, <laughs> if you're going to act shady, and you're going to act weird, don't call me. All right, let's see. Spirit messages do you have for the collective? What do they need to know? Some of you are wondering if you should walk away from this person. I know this card was... Um, or maybe you did walk away, but you're not sure if you're going to stay away from them. Because this card is sort of like came out a little sideways like that. With the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Well, we do have the Death card here. Scorpio Energy. I think you're dealing with the Scorpio. The Four of Pentacles. Well, I see this person still hanging on to you. This card flipped upside down. Ace of Swords. What I feel like what bothers you the most with this situation, what keeps you sort of like the should I stay or should I leave energy is this person's um, their lack of intention. You're like, what intentions do you have for me? Like, what is this that we're doing? They won't put a title on it. They won't tell you where you guys are going or what they're looking forward to in this relationship. It's like they just leave it open ended i'm i don't know if i want to say open ended if that's the right word or not but they sort of leave it open to where as though they can do whatever they want to do and not um have any i feel like this person doesn't want any restrictions placed on them so they won't put a title on what you guys have together and you may be looking at it like okay so since i don't know what it is that we have then maybe we shouldn't have anything maybe i should just walk away from this and leave this person out in the cold this card just slipped right out. The King of Swords. So some of you are dealing with an air sign. A Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. We have the Knight of Wands reverse, the Five of Pentacles, and the Tower. Yeah, I feel like most of you guys' arguments is because of this Knight of Wands reversed energy. We have Aries energy here and Sagittarius energy as well. But you could be leaving this person out or making them think you are or feel you are because they keep doing this to you. So you're like, what... What am I supposed to do if you keep leaving me out in the cold? Like, I get it. This person is pissing me off and I don't even know who this is. But like, what are you supposed to do if they keep showing up for you like this? I feel like sometimes this person don't even say sorry. They just give you some storyline that they think you're going to fall for because we have the seven of swords here. So this is someone who's always being sneaky. We have the queen of cups and the king of wands. Some of you are a water sign. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. And you feel like this person is always being sneaky. And this is where these tower moments come from. Because you can't trust them. And then when you do ask them, if you're dealing with this fire sign for some of you, I feel like when you do ask this person, oh, they blow up on you. It's a full argument. There's like an aggressive energy. For some of you, it could be a Leo. And it just makes you feel like, yeah, I'm right. You're guilty because why are you acting this way? Just tell me, you know, what you were doing or what you were up to. This person, Somebody feels like you don't have the right to question them or ask them anything or that's the way they act. Yep. Look what I just said. Didn't I just say some of you are dealing with a Leo and the sun card came out reverse. You feel like you sometimes like you can be happy with this person and then other times you feel like, no, I can't do this. If you're going to act this way, 
because I feel like you don't get them. You're like, why do you do the things that you do? It just frustrates you. Ooh, okay. What messages do you have for the collective? What do they need to know? We have the Four of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. The Six of Swords. This person doesn't want you to walk away, though. But I feel like you are. Or this is what you're thinking. We have the King of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy here. Somebody knows that they're not being fair to you. This could be a Libra. So you could be a Libra dealing with an earth sign and you feel like this person is not always fair. And they know it. They're thinking about it. They know exactly why you're mad at them. This person may even feel like they deserve it. Like if you walked away, they wouldn't blame you. Because this looks like someone who wants this connection, but they want it to be how they want it to be. There's no equal give and take here. I haven't seen the Six of Pentacles yet. So this is someone who's like, okay, as long as we can do things my way, then we can have this connection. And this is why you're setting boundaries. That's why you're like, no, no, we're not doing it your way anymore. The devil reverse. Some of you are learning how to detach from someone or you're dealing with a Capricorn or you're like, why don't you get it? Like what's like what what did you, what is it that you don't get? We have temperance reversed here. So we have Sagittarius and Capricorn energy. I feel like this person is always thinking about you though. That's the weird thing with the nine of swords coming up here. Maybe they're feeling like um they don't like the fact or they're, they either don't like the fact or they're realizing that you're learning how to detach from them because they're not always available. They don't make themselves available. They give you a lot of excuses. And it could be because of this third party situation. Didn't we see a third party up here? I think we did in the very beginning. Yeah. Um, It could be because of this third party energy. And this person is not ready to make their mind up about whoever this is. And so it's causing a lot of drama for the two of you. And I feel like every time you detach from this person, here they come. <laughs> here they come. Trying to figure something out. Trying to reach out to you. Overthinking the situation. But not taking any action. Queen of Wands. What messages do you have for the collective? Oh, okay. Some of you are going to be rejecting a water sign. You're tired of fighting with this person. You don't want this new beginning with them anymore. The Ace of Cups is reversed. You feel like it can't work. Maybe they tell you that it can and they come towards you and offer you an apology or off, try to offer you love, but they don't uh, they don't follow through. They don't follow through. The four of wands is reversed. For some of you, this person is married. Or they're in they're in another situation where they don't want to come out of that situation because it's going to... Um, they may feel like the situation that they're in is stable and secure in some type of way. Even if they're not in love with this, with this other person. But if you're a queen of wands, a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you've had it with this person. Even though I feel like sometimes with the high priestess reverse Pisces energy here, you go back and forth on your, um, it's like you go back and forth within yourself. Like you're not trusting your intuition. Some of you get really quiet around other people because you have a lot on your mind and somebody is not used to you being quiet. And they may even ask you, like, what's wrong? Like, you, somebody may have said to you recently, like, you haven't even been talking. This, You haven't been yourself. And it could be that um, with this relationship, you're wondering if you're really going to give up on this person. For some of you, it could be a Pisces with the hangman and the high priestess reverse. You could be a fire sign dealing with the Pisces. And you may be like, you know what? I'm quiet. I have a lot on my mind. I don't really 
some of you haven't really been feeling like talking like this situation is stressing you out a little bit because you know if you leave a lot of things for you are going to change but maybe it's time the judgment card here the world is reversed so maybe you keep arguing with someone and you're like is it time to leave this person let me have the lovers twin flame energy for some of you we have double scorpio So maybe you keep arguing back and forth and you're like, I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do about this. It upsets you a lot. Tr um, trust your intuition because I feel like you keep going back and forth on. Some of you may tell yourself that you're not going to talk to this person. And then when they call you, you do talk to them. But it turns into an argument with the Knight of Swords. But I don't feel like you're ready to, to walk away just yet. I don't because I see the world reverse and the lovers here. It's like you're trying to make this work. Listen, what I will say is don't stress yourself out because when it's time time to go, you'll know. You're not going to question anything. You're not going to be in the world reverse energy. This card is going to be like this. <laughs> you're going to be done. You're going to be done. All right, let's get one more. Give me one more. Well, that card just flips aside, yeah. So maybe you feel like you, this person is, you don't know whether to take them back because they've done so much to you and they've kept so many secrets and you're just like, this is not even moving forward with the chariot reverse. This could be a cancer. You could be a cancer dealing with a Pisces. And you may be asking yourself, like, why do I keep taking this person back? Like, why do I keep putting myself through this? Because I see you guys keep reconciling maybe you've known each other for a long time or you have a lot of history with each other and you're just not ready to start dating new people some of you may feel like i don't want to get used to someone new and go through this all over again let's see let's hear what messages do you have for the collective yeah the ten of wands the hermit the queen of principles verse but i tell you one thing though no, you are not giving to this the way you used to the queen of pentacles is reverses you're like no more nurturing kind caring um keeping this connection going it's just like you're letting it you're like you're just letting it fall wherever it falls You know, you could be a Virgo just feeling like I'm just going to do me, whatever that is, because it's going to be different for everyone. But some of you are just like, I'm going to do me. I'm going to guard my energy. I'm going to look out for myself because you feel like that's what they're doing. So you're like, I need to do the same thing. You may be asking yourself, like, why am I sitting here crying? Why am I sitting here worried? Why am I sitting in the house waiting for this person to text or call me when they're out in the street having fun? messages do you have for the collective give me one more the eight of wands i see communication coming in messages are coming towards you with the page of cups and the eight of wands we have the king of cups reverse some of you may ignore a message from someone with the page of wands reverse it could be a younger fire sign You're holding a grudge against this person. They know it. So it's like them trying to come in with this page of cups. Energy is not going to work. But the messages are going to come in. You may ignore. You may see these messages come in and question whether you should ignore it or not. Whether you should reach out to this person. But you're just tired of the false. Um, like. You're tired of the, the false starts. With the full reverse. You're tired of thinking that you're taking a leap of faith in, in the right direction. And it doesn't turn out to be to be so. Like this person makes you regret um, telling them like, yeah, we can work this out. We can keep this going. We can try. And then they do the same thing all over again or they do something different to piss you off. 
So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.